Well, we're here at the final test for this water bottle. If it doesn't work today, if I can't get the DTF transfer to stick to this, I'm giving up, quite frankly, because everybody told me when I started it wouldn't work on water bottles. Then that back to school video made me think there was hope. Um... <laughs> that works really good. And then the next test, yeah, so it's been a roller coaster. I thought I had it figured out. But we're gonna give it a final shot. So what I've done differently this time is I took some sandpaper and I kinda of did a rough sand to kind of give it something to grab onto. And then I've wiped it off with alcohol wipes to make sure there's no oil on it. I'm gonna do it one last time just to make sure we've got, we're really giving it the best chance for success. All right, and the next thing I've done is I've cut this transfer right along the edge so there's no like extra film on the edge of it. We're gonna use some heat press tape to attach it and then we're gonna try to press it like half at a time because last time when I tried to wrap the whole thing and press it, it created some weird wrinkles. So we're gonna do that as well. So instead of wrapping it all the way around, I'm just going to take it and set it in like this with the top part kind of sticking out of the mug press. And make sure I'm lined up right though. I can tell already it's a little off. There we go. I put half of it in. The heat press is set at 300 degrees. Set it in there and I'm gonna close it. I'm probably gonna do about 20 seconds, give or take a little bit. Again, this is a massive experiment that is probably going to fail miserably, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay. Good sign, maybe. I, I was debating about peeling part of it off first, but it looks like I've got enough to kind of overlap it here without it causing an issue with the heat press tape or anything else like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there. So back into the press, but this time we're wrapping the rest of it. Okay. I did see the film lift from the transfer right at the top edge where it was kind of pinching, but it doesn't look like it lifted the film. Uh, it does look a little bit like it lifted the transfer a hair. All right. Oop. Nice smoky smoke. Okay, we're gonna let the cool off a second. Everybody be so proud of me. I learned from my mistakes. I'm not gonna burn myself today. So I'm gonna start to peel this film off. No, I'm not. That edge right there is not quite sticking, probably because it's still hot. We're gonna cut to when I let this cool off a bit because I think that's part of my problem before is I didn't let it cool off enough. I didn't burn myself, it was just warm. I didn't burn myself, Sam. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I, I'm not, I don't have the utmost of confidence this is gonna work. I'm kind of actually thinking more and more as I go through this, it's less likely to work. Let's see what happens. Don't get overzealous, Jeremy. Okay, it def, it's, it's stuck which is good so far. So that's better than the last time. But there is some kind of puckering in a few places. And I really think that's just cause the, the film as it was pressing on there didn't wanna like, it was kind of buckling a little bit. I kinda don't wanna do a second press at the same time I kind of do cause I think it'll smooth it out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do it on some parchment paper and I'm gonna kinda do what I did before. I'm gonna do little quick presses cause all I'm trying to do right now is get it to smooth out a little bit because I know it won't take the clear coat very good if it's not smooth. Hold it a little longer at each turn. I'm gonna go one more time through. I think it might have worked. I'm gonna let it cool off. It's steaming right now. The whole situation is steaming right now. I think it might have worked. worked. It worked. Like, 
I kind of can't believe I finally got it to stick and it's sticking really well. I'm still gonna spray a clear coat over it like you would do with any kind of hard surface that you're doing DTF on, but it <laughs> looks really good. I am so stoked that I got it to work. Took a little patience. With most of our Willow DTF stuff, a lot of it is not stuff that you should be doing. Like I wouldn't do 40 bottles. Future Jeremy here. I know I said in the video that I wouldn't make 40 bottles with DTF, but I kind of disagree with myself now. So I've only had this just a couple days since we did the video, but I've been using it and I've been showing it to people and everybody's kind of blown away. I know I get critical, like hyper fixated on like little glitches in it, like that spot that wasn't super smooth. But everybody that's seen has been really impressed with it and so far it's holding up really well. So uh, I, I retract my statement in the video. You can make a bunch of tumblers with DTF. One of the things you can do with creating one-off unique items like this is when you're at a show and they go to four booths that all produce DTF stuff and your booth has a water bottle and a skateboard and any other random stuff we've done, people are gonna remember your booth because you had those unique items. I will update you guys at some point down the road. I'm gonna use it and see kind of how it lasts or how it holds up to like normal usage. So I will do that, but it worked. It actually worked and I'm so excited. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.